Hey there! In this series of video I'm going to show you how we made our fully synthetic rigging using Dyneema on our 40 foot sailing trimer. In the first part we're going to show you how we made our synthetic dead eyes. In the second part we're going to take them to the test to find out more about their braking load. And in the third part we're going to show how we made the stays and how we actually set them up. Yay, what day is today? Today is the day that we're gonna test, like uh, scientifically test our Dyneema loop, our rigging on braking strength. We want to have some numbers. And where are we? The Southern University of Applied Science and Art. Let's go! Before the test we were shown the mechanical press that could simulate up to 20 tons of force. At every moment key parameters like force and distance are going to be recorded. In all the graphs in the video the force will be shown on the y-axle and the distance on the x-axis. The Dyneema loop will be placed in between two metal bolts and the force of 5 kilos will be applied before the actual test starts. We will go to 50 newtons. Mm -hmm. You will see the force in this area. Also, you can see the force on this display here. So, the test begins in 3, 2, 1. Test begun. So, the stuff in this place is the stuff of Kraft. It is the stuff Das könnte sein, dass bei dem Seil sich etwas gesetzt hat oder ähm, dass sich der Ding kurz ein bisschen gerutscht ist oder ein neu ausgerichtet hat. Ja. Grundsätzlich ist da die Kraft noch wieder angestiegen und hier ist noch oben dran jetzt noch ein Seil, oder? Bei 137 km. After the first load test, we put all the loops under a force of 5 tons for 3 minutes. 5 tons is the braking load of the stainless steel rig I am replacing. And here you can see, or here you can see we are holding the 5 tons. But because uh, the rope, it works, mm -hmm. so it gets a little bit longer mm -hmm. during the time. So, time for a recap of this testing we just did. 
This was the Dyneema loop that we tested to the limit. It held nearly 14 tons. And I think the astonishing thing is first how much it um, uh, spread out. And second is... Stretch. Stretch, mean, exactly. How, how much stretch. And the other thing really impressive is the um, place it ripped off. It's uh, the top where the, the bolt has been in the down and um, upward position. The splice looks still perfect, so it seems like this was not the weak point. I discussed it with the guy there who told me that to avoid this kind of breaking, it could help to make this loop as big as possible. So that's where the timbers will come in place to, to stretch it out as much as possible to make this curve easy and gentle. So therefore the breaking strength could even be higher than these 14 tons. And um, yeah, the crazy thing also is that um, like you can see this in the graph taken, this was the point we stopped the experiment. This was at around six tons. So this loop as it is now still holds six tons with half of the strands broken. And um, yeah, that's also why based on, on this experiment, we chose later to go on a level of five tons. We tested each uh, loop on five tons and we can see the result. It's following nearly always the same curve. So the expansion that you can see in the in the x axis is near it's, and compared with the um, weight put on to the y axis, you see actually that it follows more or less always the same um, pattern. The, the same pattern, yeah, that's the same pattern in, and yeah, I think the quintessence from this is that this technique works really nice and it. Um, it doesn't double the the strength of the of the rope like you could expect that since this should hold 11 tons it would um, hold 20 tons once it is double it doesn't do that maybe it would do if it's a bit more if it's wider but i think it's safe to say that you don't lose any brake strength using this method of um of splicing yeah it's really good results and I'm, I'm super happy we have done this and another advantage is all our loops are now pre-stretched. So for the adapt or for a, like when we put it into the rig, we don't have to do the stretching anymore. They're already stretched to five tons. That's nice.